Hi guys, welcome to MS Power Automate. In today's video, we will learn how to send email with data table. Over here, I have a set of Excel file here. I would like to read a range of values and then this will be stored as a data table variable. However, Power Automate not able to send an email with a data table variable. An alternative solution is to convert our data table to a HTML table. Alright, so how to do that? Firstly, let's start with terminate process to ensure our Excel file is always closed. Next, we'll make use of launch Excel and then we will get the first free row. Afterwards, we will read the data. Okay, and don't forget to enable this option. Next, we can close our Excel as we are not going to use it anymore. Okay, so next, once done here, we need to declare a variable as our table body. So we are going to populate this table body and create our own HTML tag. All right. So to do that, let's create a variable here. Table body. And then as a start, we will always begin with HTML body table border equals to 1. It's up to you to set this table border. But for styling purpose, I will set this. And then TR, it stands for table row. Alright, so once this is done, the next step what I will do is I need to determine how many columns are there and then I add. So I will use for each values in my Excel data under columns. Alright, and I will rename this as current column. Okay, for each of my columns here, what I will need to do is I will append line to text. The original text, I will select my table body and the variable produce, I will make, I will make use of the same variable. Okay, and the line to append here, what I need to do is I will indicate TH stands for table header followed by my variable of current column and a close tag of th okay and now once this is done what you will need to do next is to append another line here and we'll need to add a close tr all right now the first step is done for generating our columns so next we are going to add the data so to add the data for each item in my Excel data, then what I will need to do is I append another line here, and this will be my another table row. So it will be open tag table row, and then I will use another for each current column in Excel data. Why do I need to use this? Because in order for me to access a data table, remember that we need to make use of excel data apologies current item followed by a square bracket of our column name and then we can get the value right so what we will need to do is for each current item in excel data and i will make use another for each item in my columns so from here i'll add my td stands for table data and then i will use current item 
followed by open square bracket and my column current column and then close td okay so once done here what we'll need to do is we will need to append another line to close the tr so from here we will basically you copy go to line 12 and select the steps below that you want to put above then you paste it will automatically populate here all right so from here you will add a close tag here and then this is done all right so let's check So if I open here, let me expand this and you can see all my table item and table row. Okay, over here, I missed out something. I open HTML and body, I need to close as well. So where do I put this? I need to use another append line and I will put it right at the last step here. And this time around, I will put close tag HTML. Sorry, it should be table and then body and then HTML. Okay, and then we click save. Now let's try to run this flow. Okay, so let's take a look at our table body here. We copy this, we need to, for verification, what I'm gonna do is I will create my own table text here. And then once done right, what I will do is I will change the extension to HTML and then if I open this I able to see my table populated accordingly alright so if this is completed then we can make use of our next step to launch our outlook and then we can You send email I'm going to indicate my account and I will send it to myself subject is process completed and the body here what I will need to do is I will add hi followed by BR stands for brick which is a new line and then I will put another brick the robot has completed the process please see the table below and i will add another break here afterwards i will add my table body i will add another break and then i will put regards break power automate bot okay not to forget you need to enable this option and then you click save
Because here, if I open my Outlook here, if I go to my unread portion here, I able to see the table populated accordingly. We have completed the steps on how to send email with data table. So if you're keen to learn more, do remember to subscribe our channel.